Hey guys, Eric Corner here, BPISecurity.com, Q&A Fridays. Today's uh, question comes from Tracy Bennett out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and her question is, what determines what you wear on a detail? And she said that she's seen guys wearing anywhere from t-shirts to jeans to boots, and she wants to know what makes the decision or what is the decision process in determining what you wear on a detail. Well, Tracy, a couple things make that determination, the client and the, the itinerary. Now, from, from a BPI perspective, we have a couple of dress codes. Formal, which is obvious. Casual, which is a clean and pressed, out of the pants, button down shirt. A pair of khakis or jeans, depending on the event. And a nice pair of shoes. And the shoes could be Merrill boots or whatever. Then we have business casual, which is a pair of slacks, a button down shirt in the pants with a blazer or a jacket. That's business casual. And a suit is a suit. Um, a lot of times I'll tell the guys wear a suit and if we go business casual, we just take the tie off and then you are ready to go. Now, each individual company is going to determine what those, re those prerequisites are, what a casual, what casual wear is, what business, uh, well, business casual is pretty much uniform and business is pretty much uniform and obvious, obviously formal is, is formal. Now, from company to company, there may be some leniency in terms of what casual is. But my suggestion to you is casual is still professional casual. Um, we don't wear T-shirts that are offensive in terms of, you know, having all kinds of designs on it. I don't think that's professional. But your, your client may want you to wear that to blend in. So I'm not going to say as a, as a general rule you shouldn't wear it, but we don't wear it. The type of clients that we deal with are all co mostly corporate clients and any, any clients outside of that corporate arena that we, that we deal with, we still appear in a very professional way. Now, there are times when you have to wear shorts, um, and, and the detail or the itinerary is going to dictate that. The important thing is that when the phone call can, comes in from the company and they talk to someone who represents the protective uh, company, they make that determination on the front end and go over that itinerary and ask the client what it is that they want the guys to wear for each specific day on that itinerary. And that will keep everybody out of hot water, uh, so to say. So that really is what drives what you what you wear on a detail. Let me just make a real quick uh, footnote here on suits. And I, one of my first blogs on uh, the BPI security blog was about suits. From my perspective and from a lot of professionals' perspective, three button maximum on a suit. When you start getting beyond beyond the three buttons, you start looking like you're getting ready to go to a, a revival, and it's not conservative professional. Um, but it also depends on your client base and how your company wants, wants, wants to be represented. Um, I'm real particular about how guys look in front of a client because, you know, first impressions are lasting impression. And it's hard. You can never have a second time to make a first impression. So I hope that answers your question. As far as shoes are concerned, I stay away from them. And I tell guys stay away from loafers because if you have to take off running, the shoes are going to be going to be left behind. There's no sense leaving behind a $500 pair of Ferragamos when you can get something very comfortable and still look good and have them on your feet if you have to take off running. Like I said, I hope this helps out. If you have any further uh, questions regarding this, uh, this matter, don't hesitate to call me. And remember, always remember, when you're working a detail, there are two protectees, the man or woman in the back right seat and your reputation. Either one get harmed and you're done.